Okay, here it is. Let me introduce you to my latest trick setup and design for this 3D scanning device that I've been tinkering with a lot lately. Obviously, this utility bag requires still some work and those fancy tool inserts that can be cut out from foam. And my plans are to make those in here later. But right now, I'm so excited that I wanted to make this video where I can quickly go through how this rig is built and how all the parts work. If you have been following my previous videos, you might already know that I have had this idea of a scanner that utilizes 360 cameras. And in this case, a total of three of them. These two cameras was provided to my project from Insta360 company, so thanks again to them. But now here is this third X5 camera I have bought myself and decided to replace the older RS 1 inch model, which I broke accidentally. So now I have a total of three X5 cameras in here, which is more than great for my scanner setup. But let's look at these actual rig parts now. The most central key part is this aluminum cage gear that I managed to find on Amazon. It acts as a strong base frame into which I also 3D modeled and printed this side piece, for which we can attach later some handlebars. But mainly this gauge acts as an important base where these quick release attachments can be utilized. It has this kind of a hinge part that locks into place and other gears can be stacked on top of it. But I wasn't really sure how sturdy this simple hinge really was and it was showing some looseness and wobble. But it turned out to be steady enough to keep the camera in place when one was slid inside it. And on top of it I decided to 3D print some special extension part to make the frame steadier. I also customized a bit further these selfie stick parts that I used as a scanner limbs and added these new standard magnetic quick release mounting adapters that are currently used in Insta360 action cameras and now also in these new 360 cameras. This makes it easier to unmount and attach the cameras to the selfie stick and they are amazingly strong when the little hooks snap into the place. So with this I was able to place those top and bottom extension rods very fast and efficient way without screwing them to the mounting piece every time. And now that these vertical arms are in place we can take a look at the handlebar itself. This is the largest single part of the rig and it is assembled from ready-made camera gear parts, mostly made by small rig manufacturer and which I had accumulated from my older camera gear projects. Handlebar was made from these typical 50mm rail rods that are convenient for attaching all kind of adjustable parts such as this handle which I can easily change the position of and tighten it to the point where it feels most sturdy. On the front end of the handlebar I designed this 3D printed mount piece that slides to the side of the camera cage piece and it can be tightened to its place with this regular GoPro screw. And now the assembly starts to be ready so that we can now snap these remaining cameras on their places at the end of these telescopic arms. And here it is. From here all we need to do is to turn on the cameras and make the necessary adjustments and the scanning from three different heights can begin. I think this rig turned out to be pretty cool 
and now it is at least much more stable and comfortable to handle than the previous versions, where I just simply put these magic wands together from a few clamp parts. This new version is specially designed for three 360 cameras, and I can't wait to test it in practice. What is your opinion? What do you think about this? Leave a comment below. I'll try to make more videos soon about using this and the scanning process itself, especially about how the scanning material needs to be processed to make a suitable 3D models and 3D environments. My experience with this technology shows that the scanner does work and this type of a scanning method can make a really good end results and especially Gaussian splatting models that are made with this can look very nice. I hope that showing this rig was interesting. Subscribe to my channel and remember to hit that bell icon so you'll know as soon as the new video is out. And finally, there's a scanner shutdown function, which I think is especially cool. Shutdown camera. Hmm, thanks for watching.